YouTube, you saucy lot. It's your boy, the Blade Runner. Um, I'm on my way to work at the moment uh, for another busy, busy day. So the haircut that I did yesterday uh, was on a good friend of mine. He actually featured in a video of mine, of, of mine a couple of years ago. It was like a Fury cut. So this cut, yeah, it's like a Fury Viking using the T-Pop plays. Uh, and I've also used the T-Pop uh, X foil. It's the big green one. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, it's like a bit of a tutorial. Anyway, I'm out of here. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good day. And don't forget to subscribe. See you later. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello. Right then, so I've got this lovely young guy in my chair. Uh, I've been cutting his hair for years now. And uh, yeah, we've gone with the whole kind of uh, fury kind of look in the past. But we're going to keep it all totally disconnected through the back. So it'll be more of a Viking haircut. So yeah, clipped all of that top section out of the way because it's going to be disconnected. And I put a grade one on the clipper. And that's going to be going right up to the parting line. Now I've got to know this guy really well over the years that I've been doing his hair. Big shout out to his wife Val for keeping him in shape. <laughs> and also to his lovely kids Alex and Max. Now young Max a little while ago he had a little wager with me. Uh, he thought that Man City his team were going to uh, beat Chelsea and I said that Chelsea were going to win. This was last season by the way. And Chelsea won. And the wager I had was of a Snickers chocolate bar and he actually got it out of his own pocket money, bless him. He actually bought me that chocolate bar into my work, proud as punch. And uh, yeah, fair play to that young man. And uh, yeah, he bought me a Snickers this week as well. I've quite chuffed about that so I'm all chocolated out so thanks Max so yeah grade one on the clipper now I've taken the guard off and I've got the lever closed so yeah this teapot play clipper is, is absolutely phenomenal and yes different guards from different clippers will fit on now I like the teapot guards uh, but if I'm doing the video, because they're all the same colour, it makes explaining what I'm doing quite difficult compared to say like, so I'm using the wild guards and other various guards of different colours so you guys can see what clipper guard I'm actually using. So yeah, I'm just going to go all the way around the head. If you guys like any of these products, then go onto the pissedoffbarber.com, put in my discount code which is Blade Runner, and you'll get 10% off. So I've just opened the lever right up now. So it's running at about 0 0.5, but obviously with no guard on. Just fading that line in. So with this, you just want to do a little flick out right at the end. If you don't, you're going to put more lines in. So I come up and I come out. Imagine like a C shape. It's called a C scoop. So now I put the 0 0.5 guard on and I've got it slightly open. And it just helps, it just takes that little line out. You know, you don't have to be working open and closed, like all the way open, all the way closed. You know, you can go in between.
and also you don't need to use the full blade a lot of the time i'll just use like a third of the blade so i will just tilt it very slightly so i might be just like using a corner or maybe just a third of the blade just helps you be a little bit more precise go okay, with the t-bob x trimmer it's got the psycho blade on it And the reason I'm using this rather than just going straight in with the foil is if the hair is left too long with the foil, it's going to put more tension on the foil and that will make it snag and it just won't last, it won't last you as long and it will cost you a fortune in foils. So I'm going through with this trimmer first, taking it down as short as possible. This trimmer is gap, so it takes it down to pretty much bald. I was just using a very, very light touch. And it also helps me take out any slight indiscrepancies with any skin lines. Yeah, you don't have to push in hard with these. Just a very light feather touch. It's a couple of little lines, so I've just gone back in with the clipper. Right, so now I've done that, what I'm going to be doing is going with the T Pop X foil. Because I've done most of the hard work with the trimmer, uh, I don't really need to put much tension on this at all. Literally just gliding along the head. Let the machine do the work for you. Right, so just dropping the hair down from the section clips. So damping that hair down, it just stretches the hair out. Basically, uh, some people they cut uh, dry, or some and some people like to cut it wet. I like to cut it wet most of the time, uh, and say because if you're cutting it dry, as you cut the hair, it's going to go all over your client's face. And also, when the when the hair is wet, you get that full stretch on the hair, and you can see your guideline a lot better. So I'm putting in my first line, my centre profile. And that will be a line that I'll kind of follow through to the rest of the haircut. And I'm just going to elevate up very slightly so I'm not going totally with the shape of the head. So that's my first line in, that's, so that's going to give me a reference for the rest of the haircut. I'm working horizontal sections. Make sure it's evenly damp all the way through. And I'm just going to keep it all square. The reason I want to do that is because I want to keep a bit of the weight on the, actually on the perimeter line with the layers. So I'm not following that shape of the head round at all. Just keeping it totally square, 90 degrees from the head.
isn't it? He doesn't stop laughing, does he? He doesn't stop smiling. This is what he is like all the time. And one of the nicest chaps you can wish to meet. So I'm just cross-checking that, putting it up from the other direction to how I cut it. Right, now what I've done is I've actually taken a centre parting and I just want to take a little bit of the length off from the baseline. So obviously dampening it down again. So I'm not creating any elevation at all. I'm just cutting that freehand, working with the natural fall. There's a bit of a video skip just there for some reason. So uh, I literally, I just repeated the same on the, on the side that's nearest to you now. And then we just take off any tiny little ends on the front. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of product into the hair. Now this is just like a box standard mousse. It's just going to give the hair a little bit of structure. So that when I'm drying the hair through, it's going to sit how I want it to. Now going back to what I was saying about uh, when you know when you're damping the hair down or if you're cutting it dry, when you are cutting it wet, you've got to make sure it's damp evenly all the way through. Because what happens is when the hair is wet, it actually does stretch slightly. Uh, so if some of it is wet and some of it is dry, even though it looks like you're cutting it even, what happens is you'll dry the hair through and the bits that were wet will just seem to just jump a little bit more. It's because when it was wet, it was actually stretched anyway. So um, yeah, so if that doesn't make sense to you, then just, uh, yeah, just throw me a few comments. But yeah, just keep the hair totally wet or totally dry. Um, don't do some bits, some, some bits wet and some bits dry because you're not gonna get a, an even finish. So I'm just using a combination of drying with using a bent brush and my fingers. The reason I'm using my fingers is because I can actually get a good feel for hair to see if there's any weight build up anywhere. So now at the moment, the way I'm feeling is that through the sides, it's just a little bit too heavy. And I don't want to be taking out length. So this is how I'm going to get around it. Is a technique called deep point cutting. So what you're doing, you're taking a section of hair, you're not taking the length out, but you're just cutting into that length. And that's the solution, guys. And I'm just doing the same on the other side. Go do the same through the top. So I'm keeping that length, but just taking out a little bit of the weight. Right, the important thing you do once you've actually finished cutting into the hair is get the dryer and give it another little blast through. Because otherwise, you know, he's gonna go back to work. He's gonna have loose hair within the haircut and it's gonna go all over his paperwork. So uh, yeah, just get rid of it. Or even worse, if he was a chef. Can you imagine that? Goes in, starts cooking, starts getting hair in the food. 
wouldn't be good. So yeah, just give that a little final blast through. Just take out any of those loose hairs. And the hair's feeling a lot better now through the sides. So if I hadn't cut into it, it would have looked all right for a week or so, but then it would just start getting that little bit heavy. Taking that extra bit of weight out is gonna give the haircut a lot more longevity. Now I'm just putting a little bit of clay wax through the top. So it's gonna give it a little bit of a shine, but too, not too much. And it's just gonna give it a little bit of hold. So I hope you guys enjoy the haircut. Uh, anyway, I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of the haircut, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'm out of here. See you later.